Hey guys, JH and Mr. X. Okay, what we're going to do today is just give some visuals on where the channel is and how the club actually tracks in the channel. Uh, and bear in mind that, you know, the, the base tenets, tenet of this golf swing is that it's a, we swing the club beside the body. Swung beside the body, not in front of the body. So the club doesn't go sideways. Doesn't go backwards and forwards. It goes rearwards and outwards. And Mr. X is going to show uh, his path and what he's doing and what he's what he's actually applying anatomically and biomechanically to get the club to go as acutely this way as he can. Uh, we might just talk about that before you take it back now. You just you just have your practice swing there, or, or just you just take us through that. Okay. <clears throat> I just want to pull my right hand back as quickly as I can. So, like in in a straight back scything action, is that what you're saying? Yes, yes. It's just a just a a straight back straight back pull. Okay. So 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 at the right hand or the trail hand is doing that guys now watch what happens when I do that when I pull back here I get back here and I run out of that articulation and I can't keep going back that way so as I get back here the club has to reverse itself you get back here and you'll feel that feeling and Mr. X very much feels that he gets back here and then he feels this this reversing of the club and you'll feel that but to get that feeling if you have to have momentum in the club head when you take it back, get some momentum. Feel that head is very heavy, and that's and that's what's creating the momentum. And as you get it back here, the club will reverse itself. See that? As I take it back, the club reverses itself. It, the, the, it's here, hand is down here, and then it reverses itself. There's a lot of, you know, Martin Ayers has his twirl action in, uh, in, in his act, so it's very much the same dynamics as that. We come back here, we pull it back here and it just goes back here. But the momentum, guys, you can't get that you can't get that click up there or that or that flip up there if you haven't got momentum in the head. The momentum in the head does that. So we pull it here, like we're gonna throw it straight back there, but as it goes back there it reverses direction like that. Goes here, reverses direction, and then we just come down. So Mr. X will just hit a couple of shots. Um now, now you'll see the club going back there and you think if he comes back in on exactly that line he's going to hit the ball straight over the camera but of course you don't come back in exactly on that line it's a little different to that it's not quite as acute as that but bear in mind that his club face is aiming at the target and whereas the conventional a conventional swing would take out that middle part yeah okay we'll just just just, just show it going sideways okay. well we'll just put no put the ball back on your back foot because if you're playing a conventional golf swing off your back foot and you went sideways in the backswing you knocked the cone over and 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 coming down you knocked the cone over but we don't go anywhere near the cone because we're going that way we're not going sideways there's no sideways in this golf swing oh First shot of the day, and he just nutted that. Gee, that was a good swing, that Mr. X. <laughs> Look where that's gone. That's up near the red car. That's a great swing. That was just beautiful, beautiful temper. And what it's done for Mr. X, because Mr. X, like all of us, can get here and get really, you know, quick and a bit agitated. But guys, what happens? And this is just a byproduct. When this club goes back like this, and we get this this momentum, you know, reversing of direction that really does get back here and load the club and he said to me I said so what are you feeling that Mr. X he said the club feels really heavy at the top of the swing at the change of direction it does that's what it feels like doesn't it but see guys he's nowhere near those cones he's really in the uh, in the channel see the, we can, he can get closer to the cones he doesn't need all that but when you start out and you just buy these in Walmart or 
Kmart or Amart or whatever. I mean, six little cones like this cost like five bucks. And uh, they just use them, guys. Um, but you start off out there and then bring it in and see how close you can get the cones and how uh, acute you can get your channel. Oh, I bet you're saying, where has this swing been before? Yes. And what you're seeing in there, which we we didn't do this this video to to highlight, guys, it's about 450,000 degrees here today. It makes the surface of the sun feel cool. It's just abysmal here. It's just brutal. We've been under the umbrella when we're not on camera. Uh, what so was what was we'll, it saying? We'll, um, we'll recap on the conventional swing the way it goes back. Okay. All right. Um, conventional back there. And coming down, if you're rerouted, you Would come in here and you, and you catch that. That one. That's it. But what you can do, guys, you can start off with what I call a generous tolerance. Give yourself some tolerance, uh, and then as you become more proficient, and, and with the, the acuteness of the backswing, you can just narrow that tolerance down. But, but doing this, guys, it's very, very much going to give us, and, and I haven't been doing as much of it as I need. You really need to get that feeling. You really, I, know, I, I haven't got as much as that in my golf swing as I need, but I really need to get it going there. You won't get as much as we're suggesting, and you'll see that you know, no golf swing can go straight back there. But the big advantage is come back here. Just, just, just tell them about what it's doing to your shoulder turn by just taking the hand back and your balance factors and the fact that you don't have to have to turn because the, the right hand just turns your shoulders for you. Well, yeah, the, the momentum of this... Yeah, see that, guys? See what is, happens there? It's pulling, pulling everything sideways, yeah. everything around. I'll put the club together. Okay, so pulling back here, there's 105 degrees of turn. Oh, it's fantastic. But no, that's loading in here. There's, there's, there's no side to side. So you can get a little bit of side to side with that. But here, you don't. And you just it just forces all the weight into this vertical axis. So these are just explanations of what's happening that I'm finding what's happening in the golf swing, the, the actual mechanical dynamics of this golf swing. Just hit one more then, then we'll take it from another line. Perfect. Now we were going to shoot another angle. What was the other angle we were going to shoot? You were going to come around here behind me. Um, was, where was I going to come here? Was I? I I've forgotten now. <laughs> because we're showing it in the in the channel there, aren't we? Yep. And guys, you can fiddle with your channel. We've got that at you know pretty straight on, but you can change the angle if you want to. You can make it a little bit more like reality. Uh, I mean, reality is that it's going to be, you know, from in to out here, so it'll be a bit more angular. You're going to stand behind me. Dude, oh, was I? Yeah. Okay. Because that way you'll get it down the line. That's what I was going to do. Okay, I'll pick up the camera, guys, and come and have a look. I'll just give you a couple of golf balls. So you've got a couple there. I'll move the camera around. Hang on. Hang on, mate. I just need to... Now, you get ready. You get ready, and I, I just need to be able to watch that that club go down the cones. Here. Yeah. Hang on. Okay, just hit another one. Compared to your clubs, my clubs sound terrible. Yeah. Compared to your graphites. I don't know what that's like, mate. Hang on. So hard with all the sun shining on everything. Hang on. I might have lost audio. Testing. No, no, it's still there. I, I can't see in the monitor. The glare off the... Uh...
Oh, this is terrible. I, I haven't got any of that, mate. Okay. None of it. Because I, I just, I just can't get there. Is it the angle? Is it the sunlight? Yeah, I just can't see anything in the monitor. Um, can't see anything, see? Yeah. Just nothing. <laughs> can't see anything. Okay, just, just hop in there again. Okay, just hit a couple more and I'll just get right behind you here. I think that's what I was going to do, wasn't I going to? Uh, yeah. I can't, I can't remember what we were going to do. Okay, I'll just have a, have a look from here anyway. That's a beautiful swing, that. How'd that feel? You probably thought you were going to hit me in the head, did you? No. That was really nice. Just get a bit more, bit more tolerance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cut it down a fair bit. That's good. That's beautiful golf swing right there. Okay. I'll just. Uh, Oh yeah, just hit a couple. Gee, that's a good golf swing. That is just such good. Just hit a couple of those. I love watching those. Whew. I, I can really see that. I don't know, it's crossover. When we, call, when we go here, the club gets here and then it crosses over through momentum. And I'm not trying to do that. That's no, just happening. That's the dynamics of the low doing that. That looks really fantastic. You guys, those, those balls are not moving, you know, more than two or three feet. They're just really nice. He, he, Mr. X always hits the draw, so, and we've got a little right to left wind here, so it's just picking up the draw. Club a bit slippery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just take your time. Yeah, guys, it's just, it's just, it's brutal here trying to hang on when it. it's just so. Oh, we found out the other day, but we're really dumb because we forgot. Someone told us, you know, we said, oh, we're complaining about sweaty hands. And they said, you know how you get rid of that? Just get antiperspirant and put it on your hands before you hit shots. And I've got it in the car, I didn't bring it up. But, guys, it works, doesn't it? It's fantastic. You put it on your hands, don't sweat. Simple. Okay, now really just momentum loaded. Yeah, that's great. Just do one more and really give yourself a huge amount of time to load this. Yeah, that's hammer time, isn't it? That's hammer time. But set up again. You guys, you guys, you'll end up, you could end up with um, you know, this configuration of, uh, of channel visually. Sorry, other way. Here. As a, vi as a visual effect. Yeah, because you, you want to you track the, the club in or out. Uh, and and you'll, you'll actually be able to do that. I mean, that's close. That's really close, and you wouldn't get that. But see, he can actually miss that, and that's very, very close. He can actually miss that, those combs. Look at this. No, well, <laughs> yeah, but but that's that really is close. I mean, you would never ever be that close because the ball's out here. I took my eyes off where I was, where I was focused. Yeah, but but I mean, the ball you would have to be on the line then to, to make contact with the ball because it's up in front of your foot. But you can you can work out your own tolerances. Just just start off initially with it at 90 degrees and start off with it with couple of feet out and then bring it in till you can work within the tolerance because the more you can don't go crazy don't bring it in and get so so acute that the swing is just too much into out 
Okay, just hit a couple of normal shots without the cones. Do you want to hit my clubs? Well, I, I think they're a bit drier in the grips. I mean, I think that's the. But you'll see this momentum loading, guys. That's the thing I just want to. I want to see. We call these the licorice sticks. Yeah, they're very soft, guys. These are really senior shafts, and these, and I've always used them. But I've had guys that can fly a five iron, two thirty, hit these guys, and they play double X shafts, and they've hit these, and they love them. Every strong hitter that's hit these loves them. Well, mate, we say it all the time, but that could be the best shot you've ever hit since you've been on Channel Lock, huh? It was very good. That was just sensation. And that, that feels like half the weight of my club. <laughs> oh, and it is. Yours feel like... Yours feel like... like well, they feel like diver's boots. You know, <laughs> they just... When I pick them up, I can't move. I don't have to go to the gym for a workout. Just bench press your golf club. Okay, now really... Yeah, see, I don't know, that, that to me, guys, just looks like a very laconic type of golf swing, doesn't it? Harry Laconic, he's a singer, like isn't just, he? I'm just spinning like a corkscrew. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the whole idea of trail axis. You should rotate around it. It's very much rotational. Okay, now let's see if we can get that, uh, that reversing of the golf club. Oh, you're getting it now, buddy. We're only doing this this morning with this acuteness. I said we've really got to give some guy, the guy, some cute, some cues on on the acuteness of this. And Mr. X hadn't done it before now. And he said, "Wow, when I go in here really quick and I pull it in with the the trail hand, the right hand, I get so much load and I get this sort of kickback. It's like a kickback, mm. isn't it? Very much a kickback. We could call it a kickback." Well, I said that other one was the best shot since you've been on Channel Lock. That's the best shot since you've been on Channel Lock. Gee, that's a good shot. Gee. And it feels like I'm just here, like I'm, I'm there on one leg. Yeah. I, I don't feel like I can go anywhere. Like I, I can't move off it. And so do you like the acuteness now that we're building into this with this straight beside the... It takes a bit of getting used to, yeah. but it, it, it becomes easier. The more, okay. The more you get used to it. Let's just go over what you said. When he said... When he started this, um, trying this a while ago, getting out, he said, when I get to here, what do I do? How do I start the downswing? I said, well, you know, you don't start the downswing. You, know, you let the downswing start itself. You don't start, you don't have to do anything. Once you get it back up here, and you've got that reverse loading on, it's just gonna drop down if you let it. Guys, you've gotta let the club drop behind you. A any attempt to sort of do anything with that downswing or kick the club that way and get the shoulders rotating and as soon as he got that into his yeah. to his melon he uh, he really was just dropping the club behind him yeah it's just very automatic now isn't it yeah you, you, you're dead right but once you get back here don't try to start the swing no, no. it'll it'll unwind yeah the club just wants to drop and it'll unwind. Otherwise, you will hit the cones when you when you when you've got the cones. Set well, up. as soon as the club goes that way, the shoulder's going to do that. If you try to pull out, your club's going to be out there. Oh yeah, yeah. It'll yeah. wipe out the cones. Yeah, and and that's where the drag and the pull will come. And the whole idea of channel lock, guys, is it's a drag pull eliminator. You cannot drag or pull the golf ball with a with the channel lock attack on the golf ball. Oh. That is just majestic, that one, buddy. Yeah, I don't think I could... I could uh, Everybody will have the same feeling. Once once they get familiar with it, it'll become easier. But but, you're, but you are very... The, the swing is laconic now. It's just... Oh, you just drop, the club's just falling out of the sky. It's a gravity... It's a gravity assist golf swing only now. And your backswing is so slow. That's just hammered. You know what I think is happening here? Because you're getting this happening now, I'm sure this is what's happening to your brain. 
because you're getting this, guys, that momentum there, that momentum, you're starting to wait for that momentum to change the direction of the club. And you have to wait for that, and that's what's slowing you down. I can actually see that now. I can see you've got the momentum, that, okay, here it goes. Now it's going to change its direction, and you're not trying to do anything until it changes its direction. Do you want to try and hit a driver? We haven't, ha haven't hit one yet, but, you know, this is live television, guys. Or live video. And when what we do is we... This is called workshopping. Well, it, it, it's, it's real-time proving principles. That's what it is. And I've always said, it doesn't take forever to make changes. When I used to teach convention, I could change a person's complete shape of their golf swing within six shots, if they let me. And I had a standard line where if they just put the money down, if I couldn't change their shape to, from the, where it was to where they wanted within six shots, they didn't have to pay for the lesson. This will be interesting. But wait for the change. Well, you nearly broke broke the face of my club. How'd that feel? It was good, but I can do better. Well, just just wait. It's you didn't you didn't have to wait for the change direct, no. but it was a perfect goal shot. A little bit quick. Yeah, but the shot was perfect. Just wait for that change of direction. There you go. Like he hits a power draw all the time because he's never ever going to get rid of that type of, he's a roll releaser, that'll never go away. There are shots when he wants to hit the fade, he just goes pinky up deliberately, but that's, that's manufactured and it's not natural for him. So his normal shot is a power draw and that is a power draw right there. That feel good? It's good. With the longer club, it's a, it's a little bit more, not so acute with the angle. Obviously the club's longer. It's got to travel further. So you, you're, oh, yeah, you're the a little radius, bit further out the, from radius. the body. Well, you know why that is? The technical reason for that is that it's a flatter plane of golf swing. The further the club is away from you, the flatter the plane will be. When you've got a club in here like that, that six iron you're hitting, when you bring it in here, you're close, you know, it, it's, it's more upright. You're closer to it so you can be more acute. But when it's out there, the plane is naturally going to flatten out because, just because it's a longer golf club. Now really wait for that change of direction, that, that, that back change. Wow, that's hammer time right there. Oh. So I've, I've deliberately got to think I'm going slower again. Yeah. I've deliberately, so, I still need the momentum, a little, yeah. bit, little bit of momentum yeah. to, to yeah. get it there. Yeah. But once it's up there, I need to let, give it time to settle. Okay, one more, yeah. one more. Just one more and just, you know, try and get, yeah, you know, try, maybe a little bit of ready code. There's the ready code. Wow, that's motoring. That's a beautiful shot. Every one of those drives, we've got a tree up here and a car on the left, one of our old cars out in the range here probably about you know 22 yards between them every one of those is on the fairway and most of them are sort of you know uh, they, they land right side of the fairway and then just draw across the center line to the left but everyone's in play isn't it i was aiming at that car because i thought it was yours <laughs> yeah actually that one's a bit better than mine i might ask the range owner if he wants to trade okay all right one more one more really wait for this one yeah wait yeah be a waiter, not a golfer. Be a waiter. Oh, that's just... That'll never come down there. Whew. Now, what happened there was, because he waited so long, as he came down, the shaft generated a lot more load and um, springiness in the shaft, and that's kicked the ball up another 30 feet because the club's come in with more loft on it because he just bent it more because of the load that was great guys we're going to uh, we'll come back and we'll just show you something that's really funky
just a bit of fun and really funky. We were fooling around here the other day. But in the funkiness or the funk of this, this drill, it will do something for your pitching and your chipping. It, it just builds the stability of this lead arm and it is really funky. And we'll come back and try and set it up for you if nobody is using the green. Thanks, Mr. X. Okay. Have a great shot, buddy. Great shots.